Welcome to Western Engineering and Fall Preview Day. This is our first virtual open house. And I'm happy and thankful to have this opportunity to tell you about Western Engineering. And one day, hopefully soon, I hope to be able to talk to you and welcome you in person. So my name is Lauren Brands, and I'm the Assistant Dean First Year Studies at Western Engineering. This is our faculty overview presentation, and I want to thank you for taking the necessary steps to help determine if Western Engineering is the right place for your post-secondary education and experience. We will start today's presentation by briefly introducing engineering and the Western Engineering program. Following this presentation, we will be hosting a Q&A session. We also have a pre-recorded student panel discussion to ensure that we can answer your most pertinent questions. And finally, we will talk to you about next steps, both today and into the future. Many of you may be wondering whether to pursue a degree in science or in engineering. Engineering is a creative, engaging, rewarding profession where people solve problems and design solutions to enhance everyday living. They do everything by applying science to solve problems. And it is thanks to engineers that our lives are enhanced around the world. So when you got up this morning, you likely turned on a light, you checked your phone, turned on a tap and got clean water, and then maybe at some point later left your house, got in a car and drove on a road involving traffic lights. Each of these activities enhances the quality of your life, and it is thanks to teams of engineers who take professional responsibility for their activities. Engineers are therefore creative individuals, and they have a variety of career options as their choice. Our new grads join a network of over 12,000 alumni who are working locally, nationally, and internationally as leaders. And while I don't have time today to introduce you to all of these remarkable alumni, I would like to take a moment to talk to you about Matthew. Matthew did both his undergraduate and his master's degree in mechanical engineering at Western. In his second year, Matthew found that he loved the challenge of designing and competing. So he joined the Western Formula Racing Team. He was a member of this team from 2012 until 2018 when he finished his master's degree. But more importantly, he found his passion and he pursued it. Starting as a team member, Matthew quickly became the team manager. And in 2017, he won the Infinity Engineering Academy Award, where he applied against 12,000 other applicants from 41 countries. With this, he won a placement with Renault's Formula One racing team and at Infinity's European Technical Center in the United Kingdom. He then permanently joined Renault Sport Formula One team as a vehicle performance engineer. To give you a little update of what he does now, Matthew decided that he wanted to move from traditional formula racing into formula e-formula racing with electric vehicles. So he now works as a simulation performance engineer with Mahindra Racing. Matthew says he often finds himself drawing on his experience at Western Engineering and his time spent with the Western Formula Racing Team. But what struck me most about Matthew was that when he arrived at Western Engineering, he was not, by his own words, really into cars. But at Western Engineering, one of our goals is to give you all the opportunities you need to find that thing that you love. So let's talk about why Western Engineering. Well, the reason is threefold. Western Engineering offers unique learning opportunities, a welcoming and supportive environment through our academic support, and the best student experience. And all three of these components set up our students for success. In our common first year, you will have the opportunity to take the same courses as all of your other classmates. Western Engineering accepts approximately six to 700 students into its first year. 
Students are then assigned a timetable and typical class sizes range from 100 to 200 students per class. You will be in class with future leaders and you will have the opportunity to really get to know your classmates. Throughout our common first year, students explore various disciplines of engineering, giving them the information needed to make a well-informed decision as to which program they would like to pursue. And then in late February to early March, they choose one of our upper year programs. So we have seven accredited programs available for students. For more information, I would like you to please visit our future students website that's on the Western Engineering website. Our accelerated master's program allows academically strong students the opportunity to begin graduate studies early and so complete a master's degree in one year rather than two. We also offer a number of opportunities to start research during your undergraduate degree. Students can apply for summer research positions where they work closely with professors and graduate students in research labs during the summer. In fourth year, students can participate in research activities as part of their degree by taking a research thesis course. And last, if students want to become acquainted with research a little bit more gradually, they can choose to volunteer in a research lab on a short-term basis. You can also apply for research fellowships and awards, such as the NSERC Undergraduate Student Research Awards, or you can complete a co-op with one of our world leading edge research centers and institutes, such as WINDY and ICFAR. We're often asked if Western Engineering has co-op, and the answer is yes. We value experiential learning, and with that in mind, we offer two types of co-op programs. A long-term co-op, which is 12 to 16 months, that is completed just before your final year of studies, and a short-term co-op program that runs from May to August. Both of these opportunities are optional and open to all undergraduate engineering students, providing them with the choice to participate and to be able to pick their own pathway. If you come back to our live stream today at 3.30, you'll see that we have an entire presentation dedicated to co-op at Western Engineering. I'd like you to meet Kelsey. Kelsey is a recent chemical engineering graduate who decided to do a long-term co-op. Organized and assisted through our career services office Kelsey found a co-op at Nova Chemicals in Sarnia. Kelsey said that working at Nova was a unique experience. She undertook two roles during her time there. One was as a process control intern and the other as an operations intern. Her favorite thing about working at Nova is that they emphasized individual learning and they provided hands-on experiences that pushed her to become a better engineer. Throughout her co-op, Kelsey gained invaluable experience, getting the chance to learn from experienced professionals and applied the technical knowledge from her first three years at Western. In this photo, Kelsey was taking part in a vessel audit during a site turnaround. So she's actually standing inside a giant piece of equipment that she had learned about in her classes. With the experience provided by her co-op, Kelsey was offered a job at Deloitte before she even graduated. And I'm happy to say that she now works for them as a supply chain and networks operations consultant. In addition to our strong core programs, we also offer opportunities for our students to graduate with two degrees. These options allow you to complete two degrees in less time than it would take you to complete them individually. We offer combined degrees with Western's professional schools of the Ivy School of Business and Western Law. And we are also now happy to offer a biomedical engineering combined degree. This degree extends core engineering disciplines to the design and analysis of medical devices and the use of engineering to solve problems in the medical sciences. And combined degrees are also offered with many modules across campus. 
Great engineering careers, they're built on leadership and innovation. Our first year business course introduces students to important business skills and creates increased opportunities for their future. Following first year, students have three options in which to continue to incorporate business. Option number one, even if students opt not to take any additional business courses, they can undertake co-ops and projects with team building and budget aware skills. Option number two, would be to pursue the Engineering Leadership and Innovation Certificate. This would allow students to further develop skills to excel in a leadership and innovation focused career. And option number three is the combined degree program with the Ivy School of Business. And this opened doors to a full range of engineering and business careers. The Center of Engineering Leadership and Innovation is dedicated to helping students develop a strong foundation in leadership, innovation, entrepreneurship, and above all, the skill set to address complex societal changes. We also offer certificates to enhance your undergraduate engineering education. These certificate options are completed concurrently with your degree. They are extras on your resume and they give our students added value, things that employers are really looking for. Now we've already talked about the Engineering Leadership and Innovation Certificate. Following either second or third year of studies in mechanical engineering, students have the opportunity to enroll in an externship that's offered in collaboration with Fanshawe College. The practical elements of mechanical engineering certificate consists of surprisingly practical courses such as machining, welding, and metrology. For the global intercultural engagement honor, students incorporate both curricular and extracurricular activities that help them develop global and intercultural competencies. Engineers often work for multinational companies and they face opportunities that require a broader vision, communication across cultures, disciplines, and languages, and they require an understanding of other societies. Many opportunities exist to help Western engineering students succeed in these roles. Examples include exchange, research, and faculty-led study abroad. To see where students have previously traveled, I would invite you to check out our future students website. Angelica is a recent mechanical engineering graduate who spent time in Karlsruhe, Germany, involved in an experiential learning course at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Angelica decided to apply for this opportunity because manufacturing is an industry that she was interested in pursuing upon her graduation. This international learning course complemented what she was learning here at Western and provided a more holistic view of manufacturing styles, emerging technologies, and a view of solutions. Angelica told us that her favorite part of the trip was visiting various manufacturing facilities but she also loved that the course was designed to allow students to have evenings and weekends to explore Karlsruhe and the surrounding area. So Angelica took advantage to take some day trips to Munich and Strasbourg, and she also traveled around Europe after the course ended. So I'm happy to share that upon her graduation in May, Angelica started work as a manufacturing engineer at Canadian Banknote Company in Ottawa. Western Engineering offers opportunities to develop leadership skills, build a network of friends, have fun, and make a difference in the community. We have some of the most active and enthusiastic students on Western's campus. More than 500 Western Engineering students participate in faculty-based groups, clubs and teams, university-wide programs, and volunteer programs across the City of London. Mral is one of these students. Mral is a mechatronic system engineering student 
and is combining her engineering degree with an HBA degree. She's also part of We Mars, a team that designs and builds their own Mars rover to compete in the European Rover Challenge. Moral is responsible for organizing and assisting both the rover side of the project, the team, and the mentorship side of the team. Moral chose Western Engineering because she was part of a FIRST Robotics team in high school. And this team in high school was mentored by Western Engineering students. And through this team, she mentioned that she had the opportunity to see the Western Engineering community. And she really liked the fact that all of the students seemed happy to help one another to ensure each other's success. We're all now volunteers and mentors at the first robotics competition that's held at Western. And last year, I'm happy to report that she mentored an all girls new first robotics team. Post-secondary education can be expensive. To assist with these costs, we offer a wide range of scholarships and bursaries are also available to students who qualify for financial aid, regardless of their academic performance. We offer national scholarships, admission scholarships, merit awards for upper year students and need-based awards also for upper year students. Also to note, to apply to Western, you will have to follow the same process as other universities and go to the OUAC website. However, we know that you are more than just your grades and we want to know more about you. Western Engineering has a Connect profile that is a supplemental admission form and can be assessed from the admissions page on the Western Engineering website. Now this is an optional form and it allows you to connect your leadership skills, your creativity, your passion for science, technology, engineering and math, and any extracurricular activities to connect them with your grades. Your Connect profile provides Western Engineering with additional information about yourself that can be used to elevate your application for admission. Along with the standard scholarships that we just mentioned, we want to talk about three incredible scholarships that are specific to engineering. These scholarships are from outside organizations that know Western engineering provides an environment that creates thoughtful and capable engineers ready to make an impact on the future. The first is the Schulich Leaders Scholarship. In the photo is Liam Israels, who was last year's recipient and is now in second year mechanical engineering. This year, we have three recipients, and we hope to give away at least three of these scholarships next year to students just like you. To note, the value of the scholarship is $100,000. In the middle photo is Milani. She is a current recipient of a scholarship for women completing a combined degree of engineering and business. This is the Linamar Scholarship. This is an unprecedented scholarship and it allows women who choose to pursue a combined degree in engineering and business, the opportunity for half tuition for the rest of their degree, guaranteed summer co-ops and a full-time job at Linamar upon graduation. And on the far right, new for 2020 is the RBC scholarship for third year software engineering students. This scholarship is for $25,000 and it's to help students build a solid base and knowledge in analytics and big data. We strongly believe that support equals success. And with that in mind, our undergraduate services and our career services teams offer assistance which help ensure students' success. Often I hear our students talk about Engineering is a team sport. Our peer-to-peer -peer mentorship includes the Super Tutor Program and the Big Sister Little Sister Program. The Super Tutor Program is a unique program where our top upper year engineering students provide our first year students with free tutoring services. Our Super Tutors are available two times per week through the academic year for drop-in support. 
Our Women in Engineering student group offers a mentorship program that is known as the Big Sister Little Sister program. Incoming first year female students are paired with upper year female students. And these pairs meet formally and informally throughout the year to discuss academics and social adjustments to university life. Before I tell you about Dean's story, I wanna tell you where he is today. Dean now works in California for Tesla as a mechanical design engineer. And as Dean quotes, not all stories are perfect. In the beginning of university, Dean had a series of personal circumstances that became big obstacles and had a negative impact on his academic and university life. His education suffered and he felt trapped. So he met with our undergraduate services office looking for help and solutions. Our undergraduate services office makes sure that students understand that they always have lots of options. Even when things go wrong, there are pathways out of bad circumstances. There are ways through the difficult times. For Dean, this began with walk and talk meetings. So rather than sit in an office, Dean and one of the undergraduate services team members went for walks and to discuss the strategies and solutions. Dean was committed to being accountable. So together, they came up with a game plan on how to change his approach. Now this involved finding ways not to cut out involvement in engineering projects, but to embrace them. The next year, Dean ended up leading the formula racing team and it switched to electric while designing the battery pack. Now, as you can probably gather, this was a life-changing experience and was the catalyst for Dean to being recruited by Tesla and he is now living his dream in California. In summary, I'd like to give you the top six reasons why students like yourselves have chosen to come to Western Engineering. We have a common first year. We offer both long-term and short-term co-ops. We offer combined degrees. We have many great student clubs and teams. We have an excellent reputation and quality of education and leading edge research at Western and Western Engineering. And our staff, our students and professors are friendly and welcoming. Many of the students and alumni that you were introduced to throughout our presentation we're once sitting where you are right today. We are excited to see what your future holds and truly the possibilities are endless. So what's next? To wrap up this presentation, we will be hosting a live Q and answer period. And for this 